Aha! No, no, no! Come back, come back, come back! Yes! All right! Another one of the morning butterflies for the morning butterfly catching of uh, Jasperberry Island! And hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Jasperberry where I have great news! We have done so much fantastic work, I have to say I'm pretty darn proud, that we actually have a little bulletin board now and we are working on our very own museum! It has begun construction and now I just need to get ready to pay off the 125,000 dinks that building this place is going to cost us. But I have decided to celebrate the museum being added in and you know, the whole of Jasperberry slowly but surely becoming a proper island. Uh, what better way to celebrate than by going ahead and actually working on making Jasperberry look a little bit nicer today. So that is going to be our goal. I'm gonna try to get us up to level 10 on the mining as well because I have a sneaky suspicion once we become level 10 on mining we might be able to go ahead and get the access to the deep mine and if I'm going to be building more bridges and you know building a whole bunch of the nails that we need for things like fences to make this place look like a proper town then I am going to need to have some good um good access to more 10 than what I've currently found. Oh, and the little dingo spot. Oh, I wish I could keep all of these bones and maybe we'll keep a few of them. But to be honest, I do feel kind of like cleaning up Jasperberry and making it look a little bit nicer, a little bit tidier as we get ready to just really make this place our home. I'm going to move a few of the rocks out of the way. Surely, surely I'll be able to like decorate with these at some point, right? Right? And I should probably keep some of the cement actually being created. Oh, hey, apparently that was one of my goals today, as well as craft a new tool and sell nine shells. Okay, well, I can't craft any tools just yet unless I think that Fletch can actually teach me how to make a fancier ax so I can start cutting down some of the tough trees. So we might go ahead and talk to Fletch in just a second then because I would like that. Oh, and there's some seashells by the seashore. Excellent. And while we're over here, I can look for some more treasure. Anything? Nothing yet. We can gather up some seashells. But yeah, cleaning up the island is kind of like one of my main goals today. And starting to make Jasperberry look like... Ooh, 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 what's this? Haha, -ha, something hidden here, you say? <gasps> it's one of these things! Nice! Maybe it'll have another shiny disc for us. Old spring, smooth slate, ten sheet. I won't complain about the ten sheet. That's actually pretty nifty to grab. But all right, let's go ahead and we're going to talk a little more with Fletch. Hello there, Sari. What can I do for you? Well, let's chat first. Oh, what did you want to chat about? I'll tell you what, I really enjoy chatting with you, Siri. It's probably because you don't talk as much as I do, and you really know how to listen. Well, I wanted... You're a true blue friend, Siri. Okay, that was really cute. So she actually is really starting to like us. Nice. Alright, let's check out the other licenses. So, allows the holder to craft a better axe. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And does it give us a new recipe? It does! Now we can make a copper axe, apparently, and a keg. <laughs> oh my word. All right, Fletch. Well, I'll do my best to figure out what you want me to do about all that. Uh, do you have a job for me? Need anything? Would it be too much trouble for you to catch a carp? You can usually catch carp on, in the rivers this time of year. Well, I might try doing a little bit of fishing whilst we're out and about. That probably wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, but mostly, yeah, mostly doing some mining. And as much fun as it has been to have all of the bones and all of the dingoes, like, right over here. Apparently the dingoes will eat... Oh, there we go. Apparently the dingoes will indeed eat my chooks when I do get chooks. And they will raid our little farm. So, oh... I hate to do it, friends, but we've got to. All right, let's clear this out. And then let's actually get myself some more of, oh, my pockets are full. I, I was gonna say, let's get some more of the cooked 
bush limes going so that I can have some proper energy for once to be able to do all of these tasks and get my stamina restored. Because if you're full, your stamina will actually restore slowly over time. And since we're going to be like clearing away a bunch of the, the trees, hopefully planting a bunch of bush limes and gum trees and other beautiful trees, maybe with the new axe, I can get some of those gorgeous, really rich green trees planted over here. Oh, I would truly love that actually. Axe-jilly, you could say. <laughs> All right, let's go see what John is up to today. John, I'm coming for that deep mine license at some point, my friend. All right, so let's sell some goods. So I got some cleaning pockets. Well, actually, let's see what he wants first. All right, John. He's all business during business hours. Got a job for me? Would it be too much trouble for you to catch a blue moon butterfly? I will be happy to do that. I've already got a blue moon butterfly. Glad that we went ahead and we decided to chat with him first. All right. Oh, I have one. Okay, I'm really glad we decided to go ahead and chat with him first. Yay! We're really becoming good friends with him, which makes me very happy. Hey, we got some dinks! Nice! All right, John, let's go ahead and sell some of these here goods. Uh, here are some seashells from the seashore. <sighs> I should probably keep the bones. I have a feeling they're probably going to be needed for like a fertilizer or something in the future. Um, and then we'll sell this butterfly. That should be good for now. There we go. Ooh, 12,000 dinks is not bad. That's getting us a little closer to being able to afford the deep mining license. We can't buy the deep mining license yet, unfortunately, because you have to have like reached, I think, level 10 and get access to it with the licenses first. Or I guess it's a deep mining pass and you have to unlock the license. <gasps> My pick! Oh, John! I can't make myself a new pick. Now I have to go ahead and buy one. He's got a good racket going on over here, you know. All right, thank you very much. Oh, and you can only buy one a day. Oh, this is this is even more evidence that we should definitely get to work on making that, there we go, on making that repairing table at some point in the near future. All right, well, let's go ahead. I'm gonna clear out just a couple more stones. You don't know until you go to sleep how much experience this may have given you, but that's okay. My palm trees have grown. My banana trees are still growing. Um, I guess I could move my billy buttons up along the fence line so that we can make those look kind of nice. All right, so if I'm, if I'm going to make a axe, what do I need for it? The basic axe and two copper bars. Oh, two copper bars, you say? Well, now aren't we getting fancy? Oh, thank goodness. I really didn't think I had two copper bars, so I was about to be kind of put out about that. But we do! Nice! Okay, so let's actually go ahead and craft ourselves the copper axe! All right, let's go use this sucker! Some of the big fancy trees over here... I've been eyeing up for quite a while, and I really, really, really like them. So I would hate to cut them down, but this one's kind of in the way. Yes! Oh no! I'm low on energy! Oh dear! We've got a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. And now I have the hardwood! I think we needed to use hardwood for something. Oh gosh, and I'm going to need more bush limes if I want to be able to keep up with my energy levels here. But now we have a black wood seed. So I can go ahead and replant it right over here. Because I like to try to keep these propagating properly. It's so cute! Yay! And then we can plant another black wood seed like somewhere about here. Oh, I would love to plant one like right next to my house. All right, let's go ahead and drop this one in. Oh, it's such a cute plant. Oh, I can't wait to see that one grow up. Yay, all right, so what can we do with these hardwood logs? Will they become normal? Yeah, they become hardwood planks. Hey, isn't that what we needed for the traps? Wait a gosh darn second here. Can I now build the animal traps? 
the animal collecting just needs nails, palm wood planks, and and then we've got it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hang on. And then, oh, the keg. I totally forgot we have a keg now. <laughs> but that needs iron bars. And I would bet your bunches that that actually needs the deep mine. So we can't go anywhere near that. Same with the ironwood bench recipe that we actually were given. Um, Let's see here. And then the thing with the simple animal traps, old springs, mangrove sticks, and 10 bars. So I feel like the traps are actually a little bit more complicated. I hope you can reuse them, but gosh, that's getting kind of exciting. Okay, whoops, okay. So let's put some of these things away. The hardwood planks are definitely going to be useful in the future. So I'm excited about those. The button board. Oh, we've also got cement. Okay, getting a little crowded in here for some of our treasures. I think I might need to start putting like the old ancient treasures in their own section soon. And I actually should see like if I can make anything that's a little bit more sustaining for my energy. <laughs> so let's see, I don't think I can make anything good for me right now because garden salad needs cabbage, tomato and onion. The fruit salad, I don't have apples and I don't have bananas or quandong for. Um, I could do meat and mangrove sticks, but I don't know if I want to try to get that meat. I wish I could get flour, but I think I need wheat for flour. Yeah, raw drumsticks, huh, and then chicken eggs. Oh, maybe I should try to get some chooks. So for now, I think cush cooked bush limes it is. But I do wonder if I should try to get myself some chooks. Because then we could start getting some eggs. All right, let's eat up. There we go, excellent. And I meant to plant these bush limes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Huh. So now what should I work on? Probably leveling, leveling the mining skill after all. So let's go grab our cooked limes and if you don't mind thank you very much whoops okay and then plant that or like get that going and then i think maybe we'll head off and can i build myself a new bridge that is the question maybe i'll be better served i do have a lot of cement right now i do have a lot of stones so I actually think I could make a couple cement bridges. And that's better than having no bridges at all. So let's make a couple cement bridges. I can't believe that's the easiest thing for me to build. <laughs> and then I wonder, whoops, okay, all right, we're on fire. Oh, oh, this actually hurts. I'm feeling for the crocodile now. Whoops, that sucked. <laughs> um. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't know I could catch myself on fire. Learn something new every day. Fire safety was the rule of today. All right, let's see. We'll put these things away for now. And then I could go ahead and install some bridges. And so I, I really prefer having the wooden bridges closer to home, but right now I'll take any bridges that work. So I could do a bridge over here. And then I could also do another bridge kind of leading into the desert if I wanted to. That's probably a good idea. I did say I was going to work on the town today, though. But I really want to level up some of my skills. Oh, this is so hard. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Oh, dear. And there's a good butterfly just tempting me. Dinks on the wing. All right. Well, let's try this out. I think... Well, let's go install our bridges, just because I'm kind of proud about having some bridges. And oh yeah, you know what? The other reason I wanted to come out was also, to be fair, I truly did want to work on being able to get, uh, can I put this bridge here? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's place it right here. Nice! But I truly did want to be able to work on it getting more of the bush limes planted. So we'll go on a wild bush lime collecting spree. While we also try to set up a couple of good bridges. Yay! And gather up some more of the good 10. Oh, this is a really good spot for bush limes. 
And we're not limited to sticking like super, super close to home with being able to have like spots where we could have these bush lime orchards. Cause this is a great spot for bush limes. Oh my gosh. So maybe I just want to have like a giant bush lime orchard. And coming all the way out here, I'm interested to see that there's not really anything that uses the cactus figs for a recipe just yet. Maybe you unlock more recipes, like when you become friends with people and stuff like that. All right, let's wiggle over here. I see more bush limes. And a lot of crocodiles. Oh, that's a lot of crocodiles. There's in fact a crocodile right there. Boy, that could make my day very interesting if I wasn't a little bit more cautious about this situation. Oh, guess what? My day got very interesting because I wasn't a little bit more cautious about this situation. Oh no, okay. All right, all right. Okay, dodge. No, 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 run, 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 run me. Okay, okay. Okay. Ow. Oh my gosh, I fought him off. <laughs> I fought off the crocodile and now we have a bunch of croco meat and I'm near dead. Damage sponge, you sure can take a hit or two. Here's a milestone for taking damage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> This is why we need to have proper bridges, friends, because otherwise you fall prey to crocodilians. Oh my word. All right, look, I'm going to go ahead and install this bridge. Where on earth am I going to install this bridge? I feel like I need to get the wheelbarrow now because I feel like putting the bridges down has become much more complicated than it needs to be. There we go. Because then you're like over here. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Do I eat a cooked bush lime and like, oh, oh, that recovers some of my health. Oh, thank goodness. So it's not just for stamina. Oh my gosh. I really thought we were, we were going to be goners for just a second there. All right. I wonder who would come like collect me like Fletch. I don't want to make poor little old Fletch have to come into the outback to like gather my, my crocodile bitten bum. All right, there we go. Put this away. And I guess I could gather up a bunch of quartz if all I'm really doing is like trying to level up my mining skill. Oh, and there's some mangroves down there. Okay, that would be useful. Mangrove sticks turn into torches, which I hope I'm still carrying. But I think I have a bad habit of putting my torches away. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and eat another one of the cooked bush limes. All right, now I'm too full to eat more, but your stamina does go up when you're full, which is very useful. All right, so maybe I didn't clean as much of town as I thought I was going to today, but now I have a ton more bush limes. And I see more in the distance, so we'll go gather those. And I made my very first fancy axe. I wonder if that actually cuts through the gum trees really quickly. All right, neat. Wiggle down here. And you know what? Maybe having a bunch of bridges is not a bad thing. Just like all over the place. Hey, get down here. You are essentially important, little tin ore friend. Trust me. All right, we'll gather up some more of this. Wow, I fought my first crocodile today. I don't know how I feel about that. And like, what do I do with all the croco meat? It feels like I should, I'm, I'm obligated to maybe make use of it. I don't want to be just picking fights with crocodiles and then not doing anything about it. All right, I need that. Very much just like having to be down here. How do you, there we go. And it looks like the mangroves mostly grow, whoops, up here along the mud. Oh, there's bananas. There's bananas in that there forest. Probably because it's full of all sorts of cassowaries that want to kill me, but it might be worth a little bit of an effort to go and see what's happening in there. Also, get in my... There we go. Caught myself. Was that a tarantula or a funnel web spider? Oh! And it's some of the turkeys! Heck! I wonder if they'll let me get close enough to gather the bananas. Oh, this is so cool! 
this is the kind of forest I really wanted to spend a ton of my time in and I just wasn't able to because we ended up we ended up elsewhere so there's the spin of like tux can I get some I want to get some of the grass seeds if I use the scythe will it give me some grass seeds I might want to keep my hands on my spear <laughs> just in case all right come on please there we go tropical grass seeds I really want the tropical grass seeds fern seeds oh that makes me so happy okay getting really tired I wonder if I can sneak in and steal oh there's a lot of stuff over here eh. all right move this little bit of dirt out of the way and then I can do well I probably can't do a ton <gasps> oh no Oh no! Why did I think this was a good idea? Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh my word! I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> this is why these jungles are very dangerous. And now I'm stuck in like the jungle gulf that we have down here. All right, but at least these just look like normal gobblers. <laughs> Okay, time to go ahead and see if I was clever enough to remember I brought the torches. I brought the torches, thank goodness. And I can kind of sprinkle a few of them about. And lead my way back over to the bridge, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, we'll gather up these, these little harvest while we're going. Alright, good. Eventually, oh hey, there's some treasure over here. Eventually, we will make a proper, like, a proper way of organizing all of this, but I think it's fair to admit that right now, it's just chaos. There we go, and another one of those butterflies. All right, we've got to harvest all these guys. Can I plant these? Can I just make like a giant cactus uh, farm? Let's see. Now I'm curious. And I have two of my very own bananas. All right, what happens if I grab a cactus fig, toss it in, and cover it in dirt? I lose my cactus fig. <laughs> Maybe with time, you'll be able to like farm some of those because I love being able to take care of the natural environment and not just have to like take from it because being able to expand where like all the green stuff goes is quite fun. Oh, and there's the little crickets. Oh, and I, I think one of these is actually the section that has a ton of crocodiles. So I should probably be careful. Here's my, my little impromptu bush lime orchard. I'm just going to leave a little trail of torches. All right, let's put this torch up. We don't need that many torches. All right. Whoops, yeah, and then our little trail of torches can guide us home. But friends, I think that we actually did such a good job on mining today, even if I didn't do as much work inside of the town as I thought I was. Yes, and I can find my way home. Yay, there we go. I'm gonna put in a few more there. A few more torches, just to, just, just to be special, and especially because this is where that jerk of a crocodile lives, and I'm gonna let him know he's not gonna get away with being a jerk. There. So now we have a trail of torches to guide us back to our home, and I'm pretty sure we did a really good job of actually <laughs> being able to put down some uh, important, important pieces today. And also, I want to see what happens grows grass with this tropical grass seed and grows a fern if I bury it. Okay, I want to grow some tropical grass outside my home. <gasps> it's so pretty. Please let it spread over time. Please let that spread over time. And then if I plant it, apparently it will grow a fern. Okay, fern seed in the dirt. And oh, it's a little fern, yes! <laughs> I want more fern seeds. I want more fern seeds. I hope that the wild like recovers after you have been very busy harvesting from it over time. 
because that would be just absolutely delightful. But all right, so there we go. We actually ended up with, okay, I'm almost got myself on fire again. We've got to be a little bit careful about that. We have some quartz. I actually have some more of those bulletin boards. I have a bunch of croco meat that I just don't know what I'm going to do with. <laughs> Can I do anything with it at the table? Like, do you just like bring crocodile meat? Well, maybe you sell it. Maybe you, actually, can I put it on the, the, the campfire? Do you just kind of roast it on the barbie, as they say, I suppose? Maybe? All right, whoops, where'd my crocodile meat go? There we go. Well? Oh! I wonder if it just burns. All right, hey, Dingo. Huh. There's a first time for sticking anything in a campfire, I suppose. We'll just have to see what, what it decides to do with it. All right, well, let's go ahead and put away some of our other things. Some springs. I do have a bunch of grass now, which would be quite fun to be able to work with. And I do have more of the ores. Okay, let's see. Ah! All right. There we go. And I have more of the mangoes and the springs. Ah, oh, oh, and the spinifix tuft. A bunch of sticky grass. Burn it in the fire to make resin. Oh my gosh. A mystery has just been solved. I feel so silly, except not really, because who would think to do that? Okay, and now we have some cooked croco meat. Well... I guess I can save that for another day. I guess I'm the kind of person who decides to eat cooked croco meat now. And the fruit of a cactus, minus five health and only two energy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to make that available as some, uh, some food to sell to our boy John. Cause I don't know if I wanna eat something that gives me that low energy. Also, I kinda wanna plant the bananas over here. I don't know. Can you plant bananas on? Huh. On, like, can you plant them over here? Let's find out. Can you plant bananas in the sand? Or am I about to be very sad because I'm going to lose my banana? You can! Hey! And I have now buried enough fruit that I get a milestone for it. Nice! Oh, and I forgot to check our announcement board. Crafting request. I'm looking for a skilled crafter who's able to craft 24 hardwood path for me. Reward on delivery. <gasps> My first request. Oh, this is getting so exciting. So we are going to want to cut down a lot of the hardwood trees to make the hardwood path then. So that's going to be pretty fun. And now I have a bunch of cooked croco meat and I can now take this, this tuft I'm gonna have to, oh, and it like immediately makes the resin. And I forget what I needed that resin for. I think the wooden bat among other things. All right, and then I also needed it to make the crude fences that are actually ridiculously adorable. So that's exciting. That's so much easier. I don't need nails for that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're probably gonna have a lot of fun at making a bunch of crude fences very shortly, friends. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and like yank those suckers right on out because I'm gonna be working with them. Saves us a lot on nails. <laughs> but all right, wow. Okay, in fact, let's actually go ahead and I'm gonna make some of that crude fencing right this second. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't even know where I'm gonna use this fencing just yet. I need to be consistent in whatever style I pick, but I'm sure there's time to like correct the horrors that will be my designs for our town in the future uh, especially because there's like um gates that i can actually make i believe what do these look like oh my gosh <laughs> they are adorable just like basic little fences they're so cute all right we'll figure out what we're going to do with those next time but for now, let's go ahead, go to sleep. We're gonna see if we actually have managed to earn enough experience for Fletch. And actually, I should probably cook some more <laughs> of my sour limes. Oh dear. But we're gonna see if we have earned enough experience for Fletch that we can actually go into the deep mine. 
Call it a day. Gosh, this is just so addicting. I hunted a crocodile! And you actually get experience from cooking the meat as well, it seems. <gasps> yes! We have leveled up on the mining! Is that going to give us the magic powers that I am hoping for? Gosh, I hope so. Franklin's visit in the island and from Fletch. You have been working hard and I'll tell you what, it hasn't gone unnoticed because you've been increasing your skills. There is a new level of mining license available to you. Come and see me to apply for it. Yes. All right, we're going to start working on that next time, my friends. Ooh, and we get a town planner milestone too, which gosh darn it, I just realized we're going to need a lot of milestones <laughs> if I'm going to be able to go ahead and uh, now have the points we need to unlock the ability to go ahead and um, get the deep mine, I think. Gosh darn. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the silly chaos that is our life here in, in Jasperberry. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing, my little friend. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.